Hello and welcome to the walkthrough of the Fulford Academy online learning program. My name is Mr. Scott Murray. I am the Assistant Head of School and Director of Academics at Fulford Academy. Fulford Academy was established in 2002 and is a private day and boarding school. We specialize in STEM plus A education and we'll be introducing a new AP program shortly. In this demo, you will see from the student's perspective, a tour of the Google Classrooms education platform. You'll get a walkthrough of the interface and cover all of the sections in, that the student will need to know. You will talk about the schedule for your courses. You will talk about the availability of your teachers, how to get a hold of them, and how often you will need to reach them, and how to get and receive your marks. We hope you enjoy this demo. What you're looking at right now, this is the student view. So this is what the student is going to see when you sign in. So this is, for example, this is grade 10 civics. Um, when you're looking at this opening screen, this is what you call the stream. So what's on here is you're going to have a list of all of the things that are coming up. So all of your upcoming work, any notes or news that your teacher is going to be sharing with you, and also any discussion board material. So we use Google Classrooms as a way to do synchronous uh, online education. Using this platform, we can facilitate uh, real-time one-on-one uh, -on -one learning all over the world. So our students that are in the building can be sharing a classroom experience with students who are outside, or students from all over the world can be sharing uh, that educational experience together. So this first page we're looking at uh, is just sort of the, it's, it's called the stream. This is where, uh, like I said, any updated information, any new posts, any news, or any discussion materials will be on this page. Now, the meat and potatoes of this is in the classwork section. Now, what you have in the classwork section is your list of everything that you'll be doing from the beginning to the end. Now, depending on your teacher, you may have somebody who has posted absolutely everything like we're looking at here. So this is all the way from the first unit, the introduction, all the way down to the final project or exam. Um, that being said, your teacher may decide to date stamp or time release these, uh, these things. So for example, where you see here, this ISU was posted on October, the 20, uh, October 22nd, 2018. It was posted due on this following day. The teacher may have decided that they were going to not upload this until a certain day. Maybe they didn't want to upload it until the, the, the 15th of November if they're, if they're a cruel person. Um, but they may not see, you may not see everything. Some of the time it's going to be all of the information, some of the time it's going to be time release depending on your educator. Now, each of these classes is going to follow the same sort of in-class schedule as the students have here at Fulford Academy. So we follow a semester system here that begins in September and ends with a final exam at the end of January or begins in February and ends in a final exam in, Jan in June. We're going to be following that same schedule for our online courses. Now what this is going to give us the opportunity to do is it's going to have let the teachers be able to communicate directly with their students in the midst of all of the same learning that the students in the building are doing. It'll also give the students um, outside of our building the ability to be communicating directly with students who are taking that course at that current time um, so that they, much, they feel much more involved in that uh, educational process. Now, how does this work? So you're going down and looking at all of your course information. Of course, is the standard opening information. Google Classrooms has several different, um, several different icons on the side. What you're seeing at the top here, this is a material icon. So this is something like textbook materials or any sort of resources that the teacher is going to be giving you that's going to help you get through your course. So they may have a video, they may have a poem or what have you. That's where that's going to be. Now they also have questions that they may ask you. So simple questions. Usually these are things like, again, what is citizenship? Very simple questions that you're going to be uh, answering the following day. This can start uh, online discussions or it can just be a test of the knowledge that you previously have. You also have assignments. So this would be a larger assignment. This is where the teacher is going to say a project or uh, answer the following questions or what have you. So we have assignments. 
Now to go along with that, we also have tests and, uh, and final exams. Now we're not going to get into that on this video because that's far more in-depth stuff. Once you hand your work in, there's an option to hand it in. So let's go right through here and take a look. Okay. So this in this assignment, I'm going to open it up. Got it. Okay. So we come in here. It shows this is a video on how to use a problem, a problem called or a program called Poplet. You would put in your work. You would download it. You would do everything it says here, and then you would add it. Okay. So you would add your work to this. You would mark it as done. It would come up on your teacher's screen as, as done, handed in by a certain date. You would then receive all of your grades um, right on this. It'll come up, there'll be comments, there'll be any of, any of the grades will be put, uh, arriving right on the Google Classroom, right on that assignment. All of the work is being kept in a Google, uh, Google Drive so that you can access it at any time. You can access it, your teacher can access it. This is also the place where you can gain access to the Google Calendar. The teacher will be then uh, putting on due dates. They may be putting on, on big events that are happening within the classroom or special events. Uh, maybe they're going to be doing webcasts or webinars or what have you. It's all being going, done through the Google Calendar. Now, your teacher is going to be available as often as necessary. Okay, this is the beautiful uh, thing about working on the internet is the teacher will be able to be in contact with you via Google Hangouts or via email um, whenever you need them to. So what you would want to do is you'd click over here at people and it would show the list of the teachers that you may have. Now, in this example, this, is the, this, this user is the only one in this class. If there were others, if they would be listed down here, you would have the entire class list at the bottom. So you, and, and all of their contact information as well. So you could be contacting your classmates, you could be working together, uh, you could be communicating directly with your teacher as, as often as necessary. As you come to the end of your course, we will be setting up a project or final exam that helps you get uh, all finished. It's going to be finishing at the same time, as I said before, at the same time as the rest of the uh, coursework uh, that the students in the building will be doing. By that, you'll be receiving report cards um, at the same time as the students will be receiving here, which is beginning of November, end, uh, or sorry, beginning of November, middle of February, following exams or final projects then again in April, and again at the end of June, early July with your final grades. With all of that, there will have to be some communication depending on where you are in the world with your teachers as you may need to be communicating with them based on time zones or other sort of uh, uh, unforeseen uh, circumstances that may cause difficulty for you to communicate with your teacher. But your teacher, the bigger issue here is your teacher is going to be, in, is going to be available. Um, as though that you were, you were a student in the classroom. This is a very unique, blended, online learning environment where you will get as much attention um, as you require. You just need to ask as though, you were in, uh, as though you were in the classroom. Once again, this is a lot of information, I understand. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at admissions at fulfordacademy.com and we can get more information to you about this online learning program. Thank you and again my name is Scott Murray and I am the Assistant Head of School here.